Hi everyone. This video, we're going to explore the 2021 AMT 10B problem number 13. So let n be a positive integer and let d be a digit such that the value of 3 to d in base n equals to 63. So we've got 3 to d base n is equal to 263. Then we've got the value of numeral 3 to 4 in base n equals to 1, 1, d1. So 3, 2, 4, base n is 1, 1, d1. And those of you who did the AMT 10A probably remember another base problem. Wow, bases are really coming often on the on the AMT 10s. So definitely should be something you want to learn, study. So and this is in base 6. And this is in base 10, by the way. So we want to find n plus d. So notice that bases can be rewritten algebraically. Like we, if you remember, it was a very some slightly different, slight similar flavor problem back on the 20, you can check out the video solution on this channel for that problem as well. Basically, basis, when you're dealing with variables, can also help us convert it to an algebraic expression. So you can see that this is going to be 3n squared plus 2n plus d, 2n plus d, is going to be equal to 263. And we also know that 324 base n, so what is 324 base n? 3n squared plus 2n plus 4 equal to, now what is 1, 1, d1 base 6? Again, let's convert it to algebraic. We do, this is going to be times 1, times 6, times 36, times 1, 2, 9, 6. Remember, that's how we convert bases. We learn, you can learn base conversion video in the base conversion video that's also on this channel. So you can see it's going to be equal to 216 plus 36 plus 6d plus 1, which is equal to 253 plus 6d. So now you might notice that this expression seems very similar to this expression. They're almost the same. 3n squared is the same. 2n is the same. Except d and 4 are different. So does that suggest anything? If most of the expressions are the same, what do we want to do so that it'll be simplified? So we, what we want to do is you want to subtract them. Because by subtracting them, we now cancel out most of the terms. And we're left just left with d minus 4. We get d minus 4 equals 263 minus 253 plus 6d, which is 10 minus 6d. From here, we get that 7d is equal to 14, where d is 2. We can substitute that back into any one of our equations, really. So then we get that 3n squared plus 2n. Sorry, let's just, yeah. So let's just say that 3n squared plus 2n plus 2 is 263. So 3n squared plus 2n plus 2 is 63, or 3n squared plus 2d, 2n, sorry, not d. 2n plus 2 is 63, and that we can simplify that to get that, because since we know d is 2, we can simplify that to get that 3n squared plus 2n minus 261 is 0. From here, there's various ways to do it, but you can just apply the quadratic formula. n is going to be equal to negative of 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 times AC, so 261 times 3. All, we do this divide by 6. We see that 261 times 3 is 783. 783 times 4 is just going to be equal to 3. 3132. And then we see that 3132 plus 4 is 3136. And the square, if you memorize, if you look at there's also another video on this channel how to evaluate squares and so if you know squares you can also easily calculate the square root of 3 1 3 2 plus 4 3 1 3 6 and that will be equal to 56. so this is going to be equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 56 by 6 sorry plus the, no, no, the square root is gone and now we see that it's going to be positive because n and base n base cannot be negative so we have to add 56 and we get that this will be equal to negative 2 plus 56 by 6 which is 54 by 6 or 9. n is 6, d is 2, the answer is 12, 11, because it's 9 plus 2. Let's review the key insights in this problem. We converted it algebraically, and then we rewrote it, and we rewrote it, and then we just find our value, and we have systems of equations here, and what can we do in systems of equations problems to help us avoid mistakes? Substitute it back into our problems. So let's just substitute it in. A great way to Make sure your answer is correct. I'm just going to clear the page. So the answer was 11. Let's just make sure 
Well, let's actually get, let, get it back, because you have the variables. So n was 9, d was 2. So we know that n was 9, d was 2. Is that correct? So let's check. So we see that 3, 2, 3, 2, 2, base, 3, 2, 2, base 9 is equal to 3 times 9 squared plus 2 times 9 plus 2, which is going to be equal to, it's going to just going to be equal to 243 plus 20, which is 263. That works. Great. What about 324? The value of 324 in base n, so 324 base n, which is 9, is equal to the value of 11d1 base 6. So 324 base 9 is equal to 3 times 9 squared plus 2 times 9 plus 4, which is 265. way you can quickly do this is that we already found this expression to be 263, so we just add 2 to it, since 2 and 4 is the difference is 2. So now we get 265. Just a quick shortcut there. So 265, and we can see, is this equal to 11d1? Well, 11d1, 11d1, 11d is 2. 2, 1, base 6 is equal to 216 plus 36. It's going to be equal to 216 plus 36 plus 12 plus 1. So it's just going to be equal to 265. And yes, these are equal, which means our answer of 11 has to be correct. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like this video. And if you're here, I'm assuming you do competition math. So if you do competition math, I'm sure you'll find many of the videos on this channel to be useful. So make sure to subscribe to this channel as well. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.